Hello everybody, it's Rick. It's March 23rd, 2018. One second please. Sorry, I should have did this before. But I'm in a hurry and I just want to squeeze this video in. Alright, uh, if you need to email me because you're interested in receiving my paperwork, uh, the, the email is rick r i c k zero three two seven at me dot com. Uh, please don't email me long stories. Okay, um, my videos provide information. Um, you know, uh, don't email me at three o'clock in the morning if you had a few beers or whatever, or whatever the hell you're doing. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. I get some of those. They're pretty funny. Um, all right, um, what we're looking at here is uh, these hearings that you're going, you know, for child support, it is a production. They know they need your consent, okay, because under 42 U.S.C. Uh, section 654.3, all right, 654 subsection 3, all right? And it is a voluntary uh, participation by the states, okay? So, therefore, if the states are participating voluntarily to, to recoup welfare expenditures, it's not uh, involuntary on your part, you understand? So what they had to do is they had to come up, and of course, you know, as a lawyer, it's a you know, the Bar Association came up with this scam, okay, uh, guarantees them a lot of work, and, you know, what I, I like to liken uh, lawyers to, all right, they're date rapists, you know what a date rapist is, usually, it's somebody that's really nice to you, I right? just, and this is uh, the ladies who watch my channel, you could probably, uh, on, you know, and I'm not trying to upset anybody, but I'm sure you can uh, associate with this. What a date rapist does is they're really, really nice to you, and you know they say all kinds of nice things, and and then you know to get you to go on that date. All right, same thing. Lawyers do the same thing. They tell you what you want to hear. Okay, yeah, that's BS. They can't do that to you. Bah, I'll go in there and I'll I'll say this or I'll say that. All right, then they get your money. All right, date rapists get you to go on a date. Hey, you know, uh, and while you're not looking, the date rapist slips a Mickey in your drink. When you're not looking, you have it, and next thing you know, you wake up, and this animal is on top of you, raping you. Well, the judge, the lawyer does the same thing. When you're not looking, they got your money, right? Because you were, you, you know, you believed in this person, you know, because he was, you, he or she was nice to you. They told you what you wanted to hear, you know. And you gave them the money, and next thing you know, they're on top of your rape and you because lawyers work for the court. When you hire an attorney, you are automatically the ward of the court. You cannot speak anymore. If you try to speak, a, a, a judge or this fake judge, as we're looking at here, they will tell you you cannot speak, sir or ma'am, because you have an attorney and then you get and then you you're done this happened to me all right and i liken it to being a, a date rape you uh it started out you know you you didn't know how it happened the guy was nice to you next thing you know you're being raped and i see it all the time what all you know it happened to me and i was on top of my game back in the day too and they just snuck a few words in there it's all it takes sometimes a few words just like a date rape, just slip a little Mickey in your drink, and next thing you know, you're not yourself, and you're taken advantage of. And that's what they do. <clears throat> All right, and it's the same thing. They're, they're the ones that came up with this whole scam of child support. And it had to, so when you have a whole production, right, You, in order to have sham hearings, you need sham judges. You need fake judges. And every state has their own version of a fake judge, okay? In California, we have the good old commissioner, 
In New York, we have our wonderful support magistrate. And what the hell state is this? Uh, friend of the court. <laughs> Let me see here. I forgot. Uh, Michigan, okay? Michigan, you got your friend of the court. And they're all phonies. They're all administrators. And I'm going to show you that their, their orders are void. They act like a judge. They talk like a judge. Uh, but here's the thing. All of them, they need a judge's final authority on all of their judgments, or the judgments are void. And it's also an administrative hearing, because all of these positions were created under Title 4D, 42 U.S.C. 651. Okay? And it's done to enforce child support. And all it is is an administrative hearing, but they got you jumping through hoops thinking that you're before a real judge, and it's completely false. All right, so let's look at our friend of the court in uh, Michigan. It is a fake judge. Now, I, what I have here in red shows you the little study. You got to pay attention to the words. Okay, friend of the court main duties are to assist assist the trial court in divorce and related cases assist judges don't assist okay they collect collecting recording and dispersing child support payments as ordered by the court why are they if they're a real judge why are they uh, collecting recording and dispersing child support pay as ordered by that means it was already ordered before Okay, it needs to be ordered by a judge. They're, they're fact finders. That's all they are. They're administrators. Investigating, making recommendations to the court. Who's the court? The judge is the court. You're really the court, but the judges are representative of the court. I'm not going to get into... So any of my experts out there, don't go over uh, correcting me, all right? Not everybody is aware of who the court is. You're, a common law, it's your court. But we're not going to get into all that now, all right? Let's let's leave that for another day, all right? So all my uh, common law experts out there, okay? I know all about common law. Trust me, I know all about UCC and all these things. I use what works, all right? Okay, and I got a few success stories in my back pocket uh, <clears throat> because I'm running out of time. I had another one the other day. It was a a team effort from uh, me and Amin Osiris, okay? We helped a guy, and he, he didn't even have to go to court. He just, you know, sent in papers, and they they uh, terminated the IWO, and he got a $208 refund back just by doing what we told him to do. Nice, okay? So <clears throat> we have our own ways of doing things. Amon does things his way. I do things my way, and we're both successful, okay? All right. Enforcing... Uh, Court orders regarding custody, parent time, charge, blah, blah, blah. So I just leave that alone. Friend of the court can initiate enforcement proceedings when the, when the support payer falls behind. That means there's already an existing order. Makes uh, rec All right, all of these things, they're already existing orders. That means it has to have been issued by a judge. All right, friend of the court is nothing but an administrator, okay? Now let's get over to New York. Support magistrate. Support magistrate. Oh, great. Sorry about that, guys. Um, this is these are my favorite. This is the, uh, the support magistrate is the one that destroyed my life. All right, and because I had a doozy, I had. Uh, this this criminal uh, Sue Deep Car, whose uh, sole purpose when she wakes up in the morning, on the way to go to work, is to ruin people's lives. She's got a giant ego. Uh, she actually believes she's a judge, and she has apps. She's a sociopath, hundred percent a sociopath. And I had a, this is how. Uh, I learned about fake judges is 
by uh, because of her all right so under uh new york state trial court rules 205.32 i'm sorry about that guys i, I thought that i uh just hang in there All right, New York State Trial Court Rules 205.32, support magistrates. This is the, right here is the, I cut and pasted it, all right? They shall be appointed by the chief administrator of the courts. Does that sound like a judge? No. Uh, support proceedings, support proceeding is what? It's an administrative uh, hearing. Okay, it's an expedited hearing under 45 CFR 303.101 and under uh, Section C, 2, safeguards all child support proceedings must be in accordance with due process. It's impossible for a support magistrate to give you due process. It's an oxymoron. It's impossible because due process is a judgment by peers. Okay? The Supreme Court said this. They're phonies. This is nothing but a big fraud. All right? Look, they shall be attorneys admitted, admitted to the practice of law. They're lawyers. All right? And it says it, where is it? Right here, sport magistrates, magistrates shall be appointed as non-judicial employees. Does that sound like a judge to you? No. That means the, the proceedings are non-judicial. That means the proceedings are quorum non-judice. Okay? That means everything that's done there, every, any order or judgment issued by them, that causes the deprivation of your property is void and it's a trespass upon your rights okay classic fake judge right there and i'm going to show you uh family court act 439 all right this is the whole i'm not going to read uh well here it is a determination by a support magistrate that a person is in willful violation by the way, I think there's a, uh, I, I just realized it now, there's a uh, Supreme Court decision or some high court that uh, that it's hard, uh, they can't prove willful, all right? Uh, willful violation of an order under Subdivision 3, Section 454, blah, 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 blah. Here's the key. But the determination shall have no force and effect until... Confirmed by a judge. No force and effect until confirmed by a judge of the court. How many of my people in New York do you have a signature, a confirmation by a family court judge? Then you have a void judgment. A determination by a support management person, there it is, willful. Uh, 454, commitment, blah, 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 but the determination shall have no force and effect until confirmed by a judge. Okay. Here's another, the final order of support magistrate after objections. Here's another scam. And this, this uh, is consistent with the, uh, the uh, courts not of record. Okay. They're called Nisi uh, Prius Courts, and it's it's now uh, now until later. What is it? Let me see if I can find it real fast. Okay. Okay. Cool. Wait a second. I'm sorry. I got the spinning wheel that you guys can't see. All right. I'm sorry, just one second, guys. Of course, I can't find it because I'm, I'm in front of you guys. Uh, a Nisi Prius court is 
these municipal courts that they need your uh, consent. So that means you have to object before the proceedings go on. Okay, so you have to object right away. So that's what it says here. After objections and the rebuttal. The scam here is they, they, they issue these fake judge, judgments, fake orders, and it's up to you to object. And I can tell you from my experience, I, it doesn't matter what you say in the objections, uh, these judges, you know, they're, they're, they, they, they will not admit that these are fake, fake orders. But you have to do it anyway. You got to get it on paper. Okay? We all have to get it done. Okay? Uh, I will probably, uh, I'm very confident in saying this, that uh, I'm the one responsible for them getting paperwork from, from people that uh, send a gift to me. And right now, they're probably not, you know, they, 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 they probably have memos written about what about me because I'm the one challenging all their orders because I'm the one telling them that their orders are all, uh, they're all violations of due process under the 14th Amendment, okay? So what they're doing is they're purposely, by having these proceedings, and I've had people, uh, I had one guy a couple of weeks ago trying to file the objections before the proceedings, and they won't let him. They're like, well, you can't file the proceedings, I mean, the objections, until after the support magistrate issues the order. That is absolute bullshit. You're allowed, as soon as you are notified of a, that you have to go to court, that they're threatening you, if you don't show up, they're going to file a default, suspend your license, arrest. As soon as they notify, you're allowed to file an objection. Okay? Because you're innocent until proven guilty. Okay? And they're not prepared for that. So this poor guy, they wouldn't let him file any paperwork. You have to get the paperwork in before the first appearance. My last few people that have had success are the people that filed the paperwork before uh, the proceeding. Sadly, in New York, we're dealing with a beast like you wouldn't believe. They are absolute criminals in these family courts. They're out, of, especially in the city of New York, the five boroughs. Okay? These people, what they do is these uh, employees... For the, the the clerk, they're not even clerks. They're just nothing but the you know they, they collect paper. They have the uh, you know those doors, those you know the, the two doors, you know the bottom piece like you know they have the door. You open the top and they have like a, a door with like the ledge, and they wear around their neck their ID, and their ID hangs all the way down here, down past their waist. So when they're standing behind the door, you cannot read it. it, it that's, how thought, that's how well thought out they are. They don't want their ID to be seen. So their, their ID is around their neck, but it's, it's hung so low that it's, it's positioned behind the door. That's, <laughs> this, this, these people are out of control, and they know what they're doing. And they're, they were, they're told, because of me, not to accept papers. So you got to go there ready to fight. You got to go there and say, you have every right to file an objection. Uh, introduce to them the clerk paperwork that I give you, demanding that they write down the reasons. Okay? Because, again, guys, you're, you're in a war right now. I don't, I, you know, the reason I'm doing this, I started doing this because I, you know, I was, I was really, really, you know, messed up. This stuff really screwed me up, okay? And I started documenting it, and long story, sh you know, whatever. I, I, I caught on from people, all right? And, you know, here I am 6,500 subscribers later, and I'm helping people every day, okay, and giving people hope. And it's because of these people, all right? And I just couldn't understand how these people just – can just ruin people's lives every day. So I made it, you know, I said to myself, I'm not, I'm going to help as many people as I can. Okay. And we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, all right. California. 
Civil uh, Code of Civil Procedure, Section 259, governs the authority of a court commissioner. Okay, let me see here. Same thing, under the general direction of judge. This is the same theme in all of them. I'm not going to, you know, you guys can pause and read it. The, the, the main theme on all of these fake judges, they all need a final, either need, they, they need a referral from a judge and a final, uh, final uh, a confirmation signature by a judge. Or they have no, they have, the, the order has no force and effect. And that's consistent with the uh, Supreme Court decision that I'm telling you guys about all the time, Burnham versus Superior Court, that says a, uh, a judgment issued by a person, not a judge, quorum non judice, is void for lack of personal jurisdiction and any judgment from a court lacking jurisdiction is void under the uh, for violation of due process under the 14th amendment okay so all of you when you're in a court before these fake judges you got to say objection this is a violation of my right to due process under the 14th amendment Okay, states are not allowed, and that's what they're doing. These states are creating these positions, commissioner, support magistrate, friend of the court, magisterial judge in Pennsylvania. I, so I couldn't go through all of them, but that's what they're doing. They're creating these positions to violate your due process. They're creating their own version of a judge because they got to get the, you know, they have a time limit. And... The real deal is that you're not you're supposed to you're supposed to uh, be afforded a trial by jury. Every state constitution has it. All of you in your state, look it up in your state bill of rights. And there's no way around it. You got to say, I demand a trial by jury because you're not going to get a fair a fair hearing in front of these people here. Okay. They're administrators, okay? Uh, they're, they're prof this professional level class, professional level class employee that performs judicial functions. They're administrators. They're assisting the court in disposing of business connected with the administration of judge justice. It's a, they're all fancy words. For being administrators, they're just, they're assistants to the judge. That's all they are. Here it is again. Is appointed by and serves at the pleasure of judges. So if a commissioner issues an order and they serve at the pleasure of the judge and it's not signed by a judge, it's void. Here's another thing. Uh, at the stipulation of parties. Any, at the stipulation of party, that's an agreement. That means you have to agree. So if you're in a proceeding and there's this, uh, a commissioner, they need your consent. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, acts as a temporary judge in court cases pursuant to the stipulations of counsel or parties means they need your permission. All right, your attorney's not going to tell you that, obviously, because they're rolling on it. They're rolling on this fraud. Okay. All right, the common theme in all of these titles used by different states to order support is they are administrators and their orders are administrative, not judicial. Okay. And a violation of due process under the 14th Amendment. If they're administrators and they're issuing judgments, that means their judgments are administrative and it's part of the legislative branch, the executive branch, excuse me. So it's a violation of the separation of powers doctrine. It's void. Same thing with the IWOs. These are the people ordering the income withholding orders. Void. Okay, so you need to understand that it's a direct violation of the 14th Amendment. All right, one guy just emailed me before. 
another thing you guys have to be prepared for. These judges telling you that federal statutes are not enforceable in state courts, that's, that's bullshit, okay? The United States Constitution is considered federal, okay? So if the judges and the courts are bound by the United States Constitution under the Supremacy Clause, Article 6, Section 2, and that's cited in um, Howlett v. Rose, a Supreme Court decision, that says federal codes are uh, yeah federal statutes are enforceable in state courts, because by the way, and, it's, and you'll you'll see it in state courts all the time. See, they they they'll cite federal laws when it suits them. Their favorite in state courts is, uh, you know, dismissal under federal rule twelve b six failure to state a claim. They have absolutely no problem using this federal you know federal rule when it suits them. But when we cite it and we're right, they tell us it, it's not enforceable in state court. So uh, it's Howlett, H-O-L-E-T-T, -T, first Rose. Uh, I have it in my paperwork. Okay. Uh, let me close this. Wait. Right, let me just, uh, if anybody wants to see the slides, it's one, two. Three, four, five. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's, that thing is just just enlarge it. I couldn't squeeze it all in there. Let me see something here. Nope, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. <laughs> There it is. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And that's the last slide. All right. That way you can see all that. It's just, this is, by the way, this is for your notes, all right? That way you can go back and study this stuff, okay? That's all it is. It's to, to sharpen your mind, uh, you know, to, to, you know, help with your confidence when you go in there, okay? When you stand up in the court and you're, and, and you're like, you cannot, you're, you're violating my 14th Amendment. No, no, don't tell me that. You are. You're violating my 14th Amendment rights. And right now you're trespassing upon my rights. What you're doing is you're committing a crime in this courtroom right now in front of all these people. And everybody in here is a part of it. That's what you got to do. You got to sound like that. Okay? And I'm not being disrespectful to the court, but the court's being disrespectful to me by violating my rights. What good are my rights if you're going to step all over them? Like that. You got to talk like that. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks when I was in court. Um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the video. I just wanted to show you real quickly the fake judges. All right? They, the, the common theme is they all... They're nothing but they. They all they do is carry water for judges. That's their their fact finding. They're supposed to collect the evidence and give it to the judge, and then the judge. But the judges aren't supposed to be involved in child support cases. Okay, Amon Osiris did videos on that a while ago. You know, a couple of years ago. Okay, then.